everyone, my name is Faith. My pronouns are she, her, and hers, and I'm a group fitness instructor at the rec center. Today, I'm going to be taking you through a full cardio power class. So this workout has seven sets, and we're going to be doing three moves in each set. We're going to be doing each move for 30 to 40 seconds, with a 10 to 15 second rest in between, depending on how long I take to explain. And then we'll repeat each set two times um, before moving on to the next one. This workout, all you're going to need is a space around you and a water bottle. So please make sure that you're wearing shoes. Please remember that I'm just your guide, and if any of these moves are uncomfortable for you, you can modify them to your liking. Um, be sure to take a break and grab some water if you're feeling lightheaded or dizzy. Okay, I think that's everything, so we can start with a workout. We're going to get started with a warm-up. First thing we're going to be doing, body weight squats, feet right under hips, bring your butt back and down. We want a 90 degree angle in our legs. Lunges. Don't tell me better about counting down. It's about why. Feel the stretch in your inner thigh. Last one's out of everyone. We go to reverse lunges. Three, two, one. Stepping back, you can add a twist. You're stepping back, hip width apart. You can stay balanced. In three, two. Walk out. You can plank here. Option push up. Walk up. Stretch your arms out. Push back down. Push up. Make sure you keep your arms wide. Lower body and shoulders. Now you can come back up. And do toy shoulders. Awesome. Good. Awesome job, everyone. Doing great. We go back to squats. Three, two, one. You got this. Halfway through the warm up. We can get into the fun stuff. Nice job. Keep going. Side lunges. Three, two, one. Awesome. Make sure to keep your knee right above your toe. You want to stretch your inner thigh. Do reverse lunges. Three, two, one. Step back. Twist. Wanna have a good 90 degree angle? Alright, in turn three. One. You can push up here. Or pull plank. 
come back up. Make sure your body's in a straight line. You want to keep your spine in alignment. And also be sure to keep your gaze nice and cool in front of you. Now you come into Toy Soldier. Alright, we're gonna move into our first cardio set. So, first move, we'll be doing butt kickers. We're also gonna be doing bicep curls. This way. Three, two, Time. 
and you can always do it. My shoulders are definitely feeling the burn right now. I don't know about the rest of you. We got this. We can push through. I believe in you. Ten more seconds. Press in three, two, one. Bring it back to plank jack so you can get back on the ground. Hands or elbows. Three, two, one. You can tap it out. Or at the same time. Make sure you keep your full height. Gaze down on the floor in front of you. Done with my shoe. Acting like there's no tomorrow. Acting like there's no tomorrow. Acting like this. Acting like this. Here, I'll be three, two, one. You can grab some water. Right, we're moving back. We're moving to our second set. This is more like focused. First move is a lunge with a kick back. Take a step back and then kick back with the same leg. Like a chain on the same side. Reverse lunge here and then lean forward and kicking back. So we'll start in three, two, one. Reverse lunge, kick back, keeping this leg on the ground, loaded. We got this. Remember, each knee should be 90 degrees, and then squeeze your glutes while you're kicking back. Your first leg. Remember which leg you use this time, so that when we do it again, you can switch. All right, press in three, two, one. All right, we're gonna go into squat with a lunge, but we're gonna be pivoting. So squat here, and then pivoting. So staying really low, so wide squat, and then Lunge. So you start that in three, two, one. So pivoting on your toes and heel. And then making 90 degree angles. This one burns for sure. Press in three, two, one. Next move, we're doing a side lunge. So step up to the side, and you can choose one leg for now. And then raise that up. We'll start in three, two, one. So step wide, make the warm up. Awesome job, everyone. You're all doing amazing. You should be so proud of yourselves for working out today, making time to do something that's good for your body. All right, you rest in three, two, one. Coming back to lunge with a kick back. So Opposite leg that you did last time. Three, two, one. 
the reverse lunge and kick back. So we're going to lunge. two squats with lunges, pivoting between each of them. Three, two, one. So wide. I think I've been doing these moves for a little longer than I'm supposed to. Just getting a little extra burn in our legs. Stay low. Make sure your knees are still behind your toes. And you can rest in three, two, one. All right, go back to side leg with side leg raise. Opposite leg. Three, two, one. Remember, keep breathing. You got this. This is the last move in this set. We're going to go back into our cardio moves. So, first move, we're doing kicks with punches. So you're going to be kicking out here, punching at the same time. You can be doing it like this, or jumping. We'll start in three, two, one. Next move, high knees. So you can be here, standing high knees, or here. All right, you can start in three, two, one. Try to get your knees up high, and you can pump your arms. Job. I'm sorry, I don't know if you <laughs> might be standing too close to the camera. Alright, now we're gonna go into standing crunches. So, kind of a similar movement, but we're gonna be crunching opposite elbow to opposite knee, like bicycle crunch, 
where I'd be standing. So we can start in three, two, one. So you can be here or standing and not as high impact here. Try to keep your hands behind your ears, your elbows out wide, and then reaching for your elbow, I mean your knee. You got this. All right, and then we're gonna go through that again, a little quicker this time. Rest in three, two, one. Go back to front punches with kicks in three, two, one. So opposite foot, opposite arm. Extending your foot out front. Awesome job, everyone. Stay with it. I know this is tough. You should be sweating hard. And you got this, keep going. You got some three, two, one. All right, we're gonna do high knees. I know it's so hard for me to remember. Three, two, one. Me here. Or here. Whatever feels good for your body today. You want to challenge yourself but you don't want to compromise your form. Super important. That's okay. Lungs are moving. Cast in three, two, one. Nice job. You can grab some water. All right. So we're gonna move into our next set, which is more strength focused. We're gonna begin with arms. So first move. I got down single arm push. We're gonna lay down. You have this arm kind of across your chest and this arm on the ground and you're going to be pushing off using your triceps. So we'll start in three, two, one. So we're trying to focus this all in your triceps and also I guess a little biceps. Your hips are stacked. You're just lifting your upper body off of the ground. It might help if you have a yoga mat or something squishy to lay on. This concrete is not the best, but that's okay. Alright, you got this. Here in three, two, one. Alright, we're gonna move on to our next move, which is 
push-ups. Alright. Be on the ground still doing push-up. You can be on your knees or on your toes. Do a push-up wide. Low. And push up again. And then with the other arm. Be on your knees or on your toes, trying to make sure your back is flat, your gaze is right on the floor in front of you. We'll start in three, two, one. So push up, row, push up, row. So bring your elbow back. You got this. Try to keep your hands wider, a little bit wider than shoulders. Bag punches, so just like this. You can move around if you want. So we'll start in three, two, one. So we're just, I don't really know how to explain it. Rotating your fist in a circle. Back to single arm push-ups. Switch arms. We'll start in three, two, one. I know these kind of feel weird, but you know, working with body weight exercises, you gotta come up with something different than tricep dips every day. So here's a little, little more interesting and different than other moves. All right, you got this. Keep going. Just lift your upper body off the ground. All right, you're some three, two, one. We're going to do push-ups with the rows on your knees or on your toes. All right, we'll start in three, two, one. You got this. Stay strong. You all are stronger than you think, I promise. Don't ever underestimate your abilities. A lot of the, a lot of working out is mental and it's in your head. Alright, can I have some three, two, one? We're gonna move into speed bag punches. Three, two, one. You got this. You can also go the opposite direction. You did last time. Keep going. Three, 
three, two, one. Nice job. All right, I'm gonna, you can grab some water. All right, so we're gonna move into our, so we're halfway through the workout. We're gonna move back into cardio, do another total body set, and then focus on abs and core. So our next move, we have squat jumps. Everyone's favorite. So, we be starting here. Squat position should be a little bit wider than hips. Jumping up and down. You can also pop up in the middle, touch the ground, and you can also stand, you know, lower impact squats. So we'll start with that in five seconds. Three, two, one. It's gonna be here. Or pop up in the middle. So I think it's pretty fun touching the ground. And then also make sure to squeeze your butt on the way up. Knees right above toes. And yeah. Keep breathing. Rest in three, two, one. We're gonna go to lunge jumps or scissor jumps. So you're gonna be here. Doing this one for lower impact. Well, then you can also. That's a true low impact. Okay, so we're gonna move into lunge jumps, or scissors, or stepping. In three, two, one. One nine degree <laughs> angle on both legs. Alright, now I'm going to be doing mount climbers with a shoulder tap. Feet on the ground. Mount climber. And tapping your shoulders. And you can alternate which, which leg and which arm you start with. So you do right lift. Then next time start left right. We'll start that in three. Two, one. Knees right in front of you on the floor. Your back is in a straight line. You got this. Bring it in. We're gonna do it all again. Starting with squat jumps. Alright, <laughs> start in three, two, one. Let's do this. More straight jumps. Make sure you're leaning soft on your toes. You don't want to be stomping around in here. You can always 
chest up or squat. Rest in three, two, one. Moving to lunge jumps or scissors. Three, two, one. I know y'all are tired. You can do it. Last cardio set. Push through. Covers for the shoulder tap in three, two, one. You got this. Keep the core tight. Keep breathing. Move into our last set. So the rest of the moves are on the ground. First move we're going to be doing is a superhero. Let's get on the ground. Make sure to keep your gaze right on the ground. Lifting your arms and your legs at the same time. We're strengthening our back here. So you can start in three, two, one. Lift and lower. You want to add a lateral pull down. You can do that. The only thing you want on the ground is your belly button. Everything else lifts up. Rest in three, two, one. All right, we're gonna flip over for a glute bridge. You're like a circle so, that floats around me. Feels like kind of close to your butt. Lift your hips up fall, and tap down to the bottom. Me. Well, same three, two, one. You have a little water bottle or weight laying on this on your hip. Squeeze your glutes. And lift your hips up to the side. You got this. Feel the burn. All right, pass in three, two, one. All right, next move we're going to be doing a bear crawl. And I wrote down plank jack, but I know we already did that, so if you want to skip that, you can. We're going to be in a plank, and then bring your knees to your up point, our bear crawl, and then back out. And then you can also close that if you want to. And we'll start in three. So, we're called and two jacks. Am I awake? 
And if you do, you did. And you can also step this in. And step out the jacket. And three, two, one. So we do all that one more time, starting with super heel. Three, two, one. You need to add lateral pull down if you want. We got this. We are a superhero for being so close to the end of this workout. I know it is not easy to work out, especially from home, but you are amazing. Uh, you can ask in three, two, one. Alright, back to the glute bridge. You can also alternate legs here if you wanted to. And we'll start in five, three, two, one. Breathe your glutes, raise your head to the sky. You should be so proud of yourselves. For moving your body today. So important. For not only physical health, but mental health. It's an outlet to get some energy out. But also, I feel like uh, working out and intro is easy too. And that might just be because I just always have energy for some reason. Alright. We can rest in three, two, one. And last, we're new bear curls with plank jacks. Whichever option you want. Three, two, one. So, two bears and two jacks. We can always step it. Seems like a dance routine. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> you guys enjoy me. See you. One. Okay, now we're moving to abs slash core. First move, I had bicycle punches, but kind of that. So we do. You know, classic crunches. You can have your feet on the ground or in the air. Lifting your shoulder blades off the ground. Keeping your gaze uh, at the ceiling or the sky. Your elbows wide. And crunching up. Really making sure the small of your back is on the ground. And feeling it in your abs. We'll start in three, two, one. Have your feet on the ground. Got this. Another option is to have your feet up here. And reach clean for your toes. This might help to really get your shoulders off the ground, which is the goal. Yes, whatever you're feeling. Got this. Alright, you're in three, two, one. 
For our next move, we'll be doing scissors up and down. Sing me back on the ground. Can you be and alternating feet, one on top of the other, up and down. Make sure your lower back doesn't come off the ground. You want it completely flat, tucking in your core. And we'll start in three, two, one. It might help if you put your hands under your lower back. And as soon as you start to feel um, tight in your core, don't go any lower than that because your back will start to lift off the ground. Stay strong, and then you can do it. All right, grab some three, two, one. We're doing these ones a little longer because we didn't work too much of core before. All right, and last one, up, down, plank. So you're going to be on your hands in a plank. You want your body in a straight line. You don't want your butt too high or too low, okay? Right in the middle. And we're going to up, down, elbows, hands, elbows, hands. You can also be on your knees for this. Elbows, hands, elbows, hands. And then you can also hold plank here or here. So lots of options. Choose which one feels good for your body today. We'll start in like five seconds. All right, you can start in three, two, one. Just that on the toes. See how that goes. Stay strong in this, it's tough. You can do this. Get into my knees. You got this, you're rocking it. Knees or toes, whatever's good for you. As long as you're working hard, that's all that matters. All right, for us in three, two, one. All right, we're going to move into crunches again. All right, three, two, one. So you can be with your feet on the ground, on the air. Try to keep your elbows wide, really lifting your shoulders off the ground. You can also reach for your toes. You can definitely feel this burning in my core. Hopefully, you all are feeling it too. Core training is super important because I'm almost every exercise or movement that our body performs. We use our core muscles. I apologize, I haven't been keeping the track of time. You can rest in three, two, one. A little extra ab burn. All right, we're gonna be doing scissors up, down. Three, two, one. this in your core so you bring your legs down and back up oh, keep 
reading. You got this. We're almost there, I promise. Five more seconds. Less than three, two, one. Last plank up, down. Last exercise this whole workout. You can do this. Three, two, one. Elbows to the hands. On your knees or on your toes. Really try to challenge yourself. Breathing. You are so strong. And remember, you can always hold here or here. Ten more seconds. All right, Karen, in three, two, one. Awesome job. You can grab some water and then we're gonna cool down. Okay, so we're gonna go into our cool down and stretch. So you can start in child's pose. Knees a little bit wider than hips. Looking at the ground. All right, and then you can come up to tabletop position and we can round and stretches, grab your shoelaces, pull on your foot, try to keep your knees close together, feel this in your quad, and with this same leg you can cross your ankle on top of the other knee, sit back into kind of a chair, Stretching out your glutes. All right, you can send switch legs. Great job today, everyone. You all did amazing. And I'm glad you made it to the end so you can hear me say this and to the cool down. Stretching is very important for after your workout, so I'm glad you're still here. All right, and you can switch your leg to glute stretch. Hopefully you all enjoyed this workout. You can leave a comment. I'm guessing this is gonna go on YouTube. So you can leave a comment below if there's any specific exercises you'd like to see or any comments on the music or anything like that. All right, thank you to arm stretches. So bring this on in front of your chest. Don't pull directly on your elbow. Screw your shoulder stretch here.
Bring this behind your head. Tricep stretch. Switch arms. And you can switch this to a tricep stretch. Let that go, and yeah. Um, hopefully, y'all enjoyed this workout today. Um, make sure to drink a lot of water and eat something healthy, whether that's a snack or a meal. And I'll see you next workout.